and is for the CZW World Heavyweight Championship. Who's it gonna be, John? It's the champ! Who do you think it's gonna be? Who's gonna be the challenger? Is he here? Does it matter? I love was busy drinking that Pepsi. Introducing first, from Yonkers, New York, weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the CZW World Heavyweight Champion, Justice Payne! Lobo came out earlier drinking that Pepsi, interrupting the show, saying that the challenger would be here, which meant that the challenger was not here. Who will it be? Is it Billy Fives? Is it somebody on that level? Uh, is it Jerry Lynn? I don't know who it is. I really don't think the champ really cares who the challenger is. Or is this all a big plan between Justice Payne and Lobo, John? Or Justice Payne and Lobo working together? This is a big farce. This. The more times Justice Payne and Lobo are on Fake U TV, the ratings go up, Eric. The four-time heavyweight champion of the world. And damn proud of it, too. Who's it gonna be? It's Z-Bar! It's Z-Bar! He's the champ. And Justice Payne hates Z-Bar. He hates that guy with a passion. I he will rip his head off. I thought we were gonna get a credible contender, Eric. He will rip his head off. He hates him. What they trying to do? Kiss him? Maybe. Introducing his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 220 pounds, C. The rumors are true, John. Is it him? Could it be? I never thought I would see him here. He has yet to arrive. Could it really be him, John? It's him! It's CF Punk! All the way from Chicago! Normal made it happen! You wanted an incredible challenge in the night, pain. You got one! You got CM Punk! Eric, who is CM Punk? Who is CM Punk? I never heard of him! You never won! These fans have listened to them! The fans here tonight at Viking Hall all know who CM Punk is, and you better believe that the four-time world heavyweight champion does oh, wait a minute. He's got the belt! He's touching the champ's belt! He's got the belt! He can walk out of here tonight and bring that belt back home with him to Chicago, and we may never see it again! Yeah, or he can get carried out of here on a stretcher tonight! CM Punk missed about three months with a fractured skull. Is he 100%? Is he truly a credible challenger at 100%? He sure is. But if he is not 100%, how credible a challenger is he? And this is what it's all about, Gargiulo. The world title defending on fake new TV. The match that they never thought they would see in the wrestling world. CM Punk and Justice Payne for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Eric Gargiulo, Justice Payne, has defeated every challenger that has challenged him for that world title. I get it now. I understand why Lobo is drinking the Pepsi to set up if Justice Payne falls victim to CM Punk's Pepsi plunge, this match is gonna be over. The Pepsi plunge? The Pepsi plunge. And Payne doesn't waste any time. He's big, not impressed. Ha <laughs> ha, big left hands there by the champ, Irish whip. Ha <laughs> pumped up the clothesline, big right hands from himself. And another, I think Lobo stepped up the competition a bit for Billy Fives last month. Punk lands on his feet, a very versatile athlete, very athletic individual. He's underneath, dropped some spine first. And that's not gonna do it, Justice Payne. That's not gonna do it, and look at him hitting his head, waking himself up, telling himself he's gotta put his A-game on. He doesn't have Billy Fives tonight, he has CM Punk. This is 
is really not fair, Eric, if you think about it for Justice Payne. He had no time to what? prepare or to come up with a plan. He for is for the open challenge. Uh -oh. It was his idea. Oh, I didn't say it was a smart idea, did I? Punk backdrops, the World Heavyweight Champion, and a big forearm smash, and another. Shoots him in, big arm drag, and another. And the World Heavyweight Champion is taking a beeline. He's taking a train home. Smart move there by the champ, break up the momentum. To slow things down. So, normally as part of Justice Payne's psychological game plan, he likes to get in there, start off a fast pace, and then slide out under the ring and let his opponent think about it. But tonight, I don't think this is any part of his plan. Now don't get back into the ring now, calm down. I mean, come on, he is our champion. He went on television. He said, I want the open challenge. He walked out of deja vu. He wanted the open challenge. What does he think he, who does he think he is? He thinks he can just pick his challenges around here. What's the matter? Is he afraid of the guys in the back? Is he afraid of Nick Gage? Is he afraid of Nick Mondo? Is he afraid of Ruckus? Ruckus? Please. Snapmare. And he is completely dominating our world heavyweight champion. Uh-oh, he's calling for the power bomb. Justice Payne blocks it, now he got him up. Uh-oh, he's got him. No, Payne holds on. And Punk counters Payne's reversal. Japanese arm drag. <laughs> A tremendous move there by the champ. Our only Grand Slam champion ever. He's held all the belts here at CZW. He's a four-time world heavyweight champion. Currently on his fourth reign after defeating Zandig in Ireland on June the 18th. We got a one, we got a two! A two! Justice Payne has the advantage in the power game over CM Punk. Justice Payne going to a chicken wing here. CM Punk though has the advantage in the height game. He is taller than Justice Payne, which gives him a lot of advantage when it comes to leverage on different maneuvers. Justice Payne now wearing down CM Punk. Trying to put together maybe perhaps a, a different game plan for this match. Front chancellery, CM Punk rolls out of it. And don't forget October the 12th, we're back in South Philadelphia for more live CZW action. But will Payne return as World Heavyweight Champion, John? A couple of stuff elbows, and that'll knock him out. And again, remember, CM Punk is returning to the ring with a fractured skull. He says it's healed. The doctors have given him clearance. Right, that's but how his problem. Is it? How healed is it? I guess we'll find out. Justice Payne sets up his challenger, shoots him in, follows him up with a big clothesline. Payne shoots in the challenger once again. He's got him with a Fujiwara arm bar, a Fujiwara arm bar. We'll see a pump tap. We'll see a pump tap to the four-time world champion. Oh, he'll tap, all right. Brian Logan right in position. CZW world title on the line on Fake U TV. I'll throw the question out there, John, because you don't have the cojones to do it. Is Justice Payne, was Justice Payne aware CM Punk was the challenger? Is Justice Payne working with Nova? I don't think so, Eric. When he issues an open challenge, he issues an open challenge. He don't care who the challenger is. Goes to work right on that shoulder. I know the champion, Eric. He's a fighting champion, and I'm proud he's the CZW World Heavyweight Champion. He's another guy I heard's not returning your calls lately. Eric, no one returns your calls. I don't call anybody, that's why. That's because you got no friends here. It's CZW. I'd rather have no friends than the friends that you run around oh. with. Those criminals. Punk goes underneath. Punk with a slingshot sunset flip. Russian leg sweep. Slingshot senton. On to the world heavyweight champion. Or as some people like to say, a roll like Pescado. And CM Punk now getting arrogant, getting cocky about our world heavyweight champion. Justice Payne down on the mat. I don't think he expected this kind of competition out of CM Punk. Listen to the fans, John. Uh-oh. Holding a Justice Payne up there, letting the blood rush to the head, letting him think about his challenger. 
the challenger that he nor anybody expected to walk through that door. Bam! Look at the pain on Justice Payne's face. That says it all. That look, and not so much the pain, but the frustration of the inability to dominate this matchup. And Eric, what is going to happen on October the 12th when Team Georgia reinvades CZW in South Philadelphia? Will they even be back? Oh, they'll be back! Will Justice Payne return as a World Heavyweight Champion? Well, that remains to be seen. Right now, CM Punk looking to set up some kind of submission hold, Eric. What is that? It's called the 138 Special. Uh-oh. The 138 Special. And he has it locked in. Justice Payne has no ropes around to grab and break that hold. And he's stretching the World Heavyweight Champion. The World Heavyweight Champion does not look good tonight on Fake UTV. Does not look good tonight live here at Viking Hall. See, this is what's not good when you have no idea who your opponent is, Eric. Hey, he's the guy that issued the open challenge. He walked out here and issued it. But no one, no one ever said he made a, a smart choice, a smart decision by doing it. But if, he's the champ, Eric. If CM Punk nails that Pepsi plunge, of the World Heavyweight Champion. I gotta think the World Heavyweight Champion is gonna regret making any kind of an open challenge. Big chop there by CM Punk. But you gotta remember something, Justice Payne doesn't have to beat CM Punk. CM Punk has to beat Justice Payne. Great point, John. A tremendous point, John House. You might as well just do the commentary by yourself. Okay. Payne follows through. He's got Punk. Uh-oh. Payne's gonna charge in with the head of steam. Punk reverses. Springs up. Springboard drop kick. He nailed him with it. Punk looks tremendous tonight, John. Eric, this is the first time I'm seeing CM Punk. I never even heard of him before. How could you not have heard of CM Punk? Now gets the ropes. Tope! CM Punk has been described by many as the hottest unsigned talent on the independent circuit. Oh yeah? Yeah. Uh, who told you that, Eric? I hear things. Things aren't looking good now for our champion. You should be outraged at what's going on here. Outraged? I would love to see CM Punk as world heavyweight champion. Not me. He'd make a great champion. He could bring the belt to the Misfit concerts. CM Punk now, hopping back up onto the apron. He's climbing the ropes. Justice Payne on his feet. Uh oh! I'm quick as a cat. No! Punk reverses. Frog splash. No! He missed! STF! Hey, he's STF. got him! He's got him! Tap! 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 A move invented by Masahiro Chono. A move made better by Justice Payne. <laughs> Perfected it! And that's what you have to watch out for with Justice Payne. He's the kind of a wrestler that sits back. He'll let you get a couple moves earlier on. He'll let you gain that confidence. And just when you think you have Justice Payne, he springs at you like a cat. That's why they call him the chameleon, Eric. He can fight, he can wrestle, and he can brawl. And that's just a move to humiliate the challenger. Now the champ's just getting warmed up. Kick there into the gut by Justice Payne, big forearm. And again, I question how CM Punk will react if he is nailed with the pain thriller. Again, coming off of a fractured skull injury, how will he react? Big chops there by Justice Payne. Who cares how he'll react, Eric? He's got to win this match. He has to be focused on right now. CM Punk follows through with the high knee. Shoots Justice Payne in. Oh, he's he's going again. Blockbuster! Ah, he nailed him! He nailed him with the it! That should be it! The champ is playing a defensive game in this matchup, John. He is sitting back and allowing CM Punk to gain some offense, but he is countering with big impact defense moves. He's waiting for CM Punk to make a mistake, and when he does, he pays for it. CM Punk now holding his head. Remember what I said earlier about that fractured skull? Well, it may come into play now. Fractured skull, if I was Justice Payne, I'd get a steel chair and wrap it around his skull. Justice Payne with two roundhouse kicks. Takes out the knees, right into those, right into the kidneys. 
Backdrop driver. He's testing it. We he got to it. It's over. He's heard about that fractured skull. I hit him with a chair. Payne needs to end this thing. Did you see the look of frustration or the look of Justice Payne? Irish whip. Belly to belly overhead. <laughs> that was beautiful. And CM Punk retreats. A very smart move. Great presence of mind there by CM Punk to roll out of the ring by himself sometimes. But at the same time, he's allowing Justice Payne to recoup and gain his energy and his whereabouts of where he is in that ring. CM Punk has a lot of endurance. He has wrestled 55 minute plus matches before on the independent circuit, but so does the champion. He went 64 minutes at high stakes. This one could go all night, John. Uh oh. Justice Payne has CM Punk straddled over that top rope. Big kick to the forehead. Roundhouse. That'll give him a shiner. Let uh -oh. him think about it on his ride home back to Chicago. Maybe with the World Heavyweight Championship. That's German a lot easier said than done. German suplex. It looks as if the more this match goes, the stronger the champion is getting. CM Punk had an early offensive attack, but that means nothing at this point in the match. Don't forget, Eric, John Zandig issued a challenge to Sheriff Lobo for Cage of Death 4. Wait a minute. And he nails him right in the midsection. Oh, drops that elbow, Eric. What a clean wrestler Justice Payne is. John what a clean Zandig wrestler. issued a challenge for Cage of Death 4 to Sheriff Lobo. What a night that's going to be, Gargiulo. Will he actually accept it? Will he sign the contract? It's one thing to go around here and tell people he'll accept it, but will he actually sign the contract? But Eric, it won't be the first time Lobo beat up John Zandig. He's done it time and time again. How much more can John Zandig take? Jackie Chan! Jackie Chan, kick to the midsection! Jawbreaker! Springs up! Oh! High cross body! Spinning fine body press! And he caught the champion. CM Punk down. Both wrestlers off of their feet. Both wrestlers looking for that second win, that second lease on life in this matchup. He's calling for it. Maybe he's going to get it with the Pepsi plunge. Uh oh. No, not that. The Pepsi plunge. He's going for it. No. Double underhook backbreaker. Two count, Eric. Woo! That was close. It was very close. Tremendous matchup here on Fake U TV for the CZW World Heavyweight title. Justice Payne was less than a second away from losing that championship belt of combat. So do I say the CM Punk. Headbutts there by CM Punk. On to the world champion. Belly to belly. Ow! Oh! And that's just devastating. That just stopped CM Punk right in his track. Ah, fraction skull! Champ's got to capitalize on that. Justice Payne needs to stay on top of CM Punk. Justice Payne looked a little off his game in the start of the match. Maybe surprised at his challenger, CM Punk. But now that he has settled in, he has calmed down. He understands where he is, who he is, and what is on the line. The match is turning out a lot different. Eric, what kind of name is CM Punk anyway? How do you ask him? What kind of name is John House? Ah, it's the name of a star of a TV show. CM Punk caught that tree of woe. He cannot get that foot out of there. Payne calling for a chair. Someone trying to hand him a plastic chair. He said, I don't want that one. I want the steel chair. It's CZW, John. Uh-oh. Sam Punk caught in that tree of woe. Brian Logan warning pain. Sam Punk somehow sits up out of that one, Eric. Big elbow. And another. And another. Chop to the back of Sam Punk. Payne looks like he's going for a reverse suplex here. Maybe a neck breaker. Both wrestlers are very tired right now at the pace. Oh! He just dropped them, spiked them on 
that head. He just spiked him. And that should be it. What was that? It was a move that may end this matchup. Why don't you stop asking me what the names of these moves are and go do some research and find out yourself. Let me get off that chair and do something around here. The champ is here and Punk both down on the canvas. Brian Logan starts the 10 count. Both wrestlers have wrestled an excruciating pace, a very fast pace. A pace that would take a lot more out of any other wrestler. But you are talking about two of the best right now. Going toe to toe like two gladiators in Greek mythology here tonight at Viking Hall. Justice Payne with a left and a kick over the top. Lands on his feet. <laughs> the chameleon he is, Eric. The chameleon. The resilience. Wait a minute, he's got him. Punk guys him. Wait, that's Just his neck, Eric. Oh, it sure Bam. is. Bam! What a clothesline. What a clothesline. Out of nowhere. That and clothesline will send CM Punk back to Chicago. <laughs> Beltless. Justice Payne taking the opportunity now to get a second win. To think about what he's going to do next. To think about all possible counters for anything that CM Punk has to offer. CM Punk thinking about maybe it wasn't worth it. Was it worth the drive to Chicago to come in here and try and show up Justice Payne on his own home turf? Easier said than done, Gargiulo, and you know it. Justice Payne has been through some wars with Wife Beater. He sure has. With Jerry Lynn, with Tajiri. Schoolboy. And he has survived them all. Nick Mondo, Messiah, Zandig, Lobo. And he's still the champion. He holds on. He's got him on. Two count. Takes him off of his feet. Oh, what's he going for? I think he's going for the devil lock. I think he's going for the devil lock, John. Justice Payne fighting back. Big left hands there. Breaks that up real quick. Oh, he fights it off. He didn't want to get caught in that. Oh, that could end the match, John. Pain thriller. No. Oh, he can't get him up. Crucifix! He's got him hooked! I've never seen anybody count with a pain thriller like that! Never! CM Punk thinks he got the three count, but it was only two! CM Punk had the advantage of scouting his opponent because he knew who he was wrestling tonight, unlike the World Heavyweight Champion. He's going for the Pepsi plunge, John! Uh -oh. He's going for the Pepsi plunge! John, if he nails this, it's over. If he nails the Pepsi plunge, it is over. Uh oh, Payne is Justice blocking. Payne blocked it. Payne Thriller! Payne Thriller! Both men are out, John. What a hard hitting matchup tonight here on Fake U TV. We can hear all the blows from our broadcast booth. CZW World Title is on the line. Justice Payne and CM Punk have fought such a hard-hitting matchup. Airplane spin, rolls through with a Samoa drop. Split-legged moonsault! He's Wait gonna get out! We're gonna go! He's going back to Chicago! No. Two and three quarters there for CM Punk. Thought he was walking out of here champion. Very frustrated, Gargiulo. We saw CM Punk's regular nemesis in Combat Zone Wrestling several months back, Chris Hero, who was unsuccessful against Ruckus. CM Punk now in position to get, get Pain Thriller, no. He blocked it twice there. He reversed into a backslide. He's done his homework, John. Backslide again. A move that won Kerry Von Eric, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, chip several years ago. Pain Thriller! Pain Thriller! Pain Thriller. He gets him! He gets him! He survived! That's what we should say, John. He didn't just win this match, he survived. Here is your winner, and still, CGW World Heavyweight Champion,